Emo Giraffe 516 asks, I really want to self-host my own email, but I heard that most of the emails received from it will probably be marked as spam for people using big tech email services like Gmail and Outlook. Does this problem even have any solution? I think that like the the issues with self-hosting email are kind of overblown in a sense, because if you use a service like MailCow, which sets everything up properly for you in one click, so you don't have to configure like post fix and everything yourself. And you set up all the DNS records um, that are appropriate for email, which MailCal guides you through or a program like that. I, I've i never run into any issues like this with any email posting that I've ever done. You just, you just have to set it up correctly. And there are definitely email programs where if you're not just doing every single aspect of it DIY on your own, there are pre-made solutions that work perfectly fine. That being said, I still probably wouldn't recommend self-hosting email because it doesn't make a lot of sense from like a time or cost perspective. Setting it all up and keeping it up to date and keeping it running is all stuff that you really have to do. And it is, it's still a lot of work even when you're doing it correctly. And for the cost of pretty much any email provider, um, which is usually like five, $10 a month, it's, you're going to get a lot better value out of just having somebody else do it for you. That's kind of the state that email is in right now. Yeah, it feels risky too. Like that's why I don't self-host my own email because like we use Proton for our business email. So if you email our support page or something, um, it's gonna go through Proton. But it's having, it's also like, even from a business perspective, it's I don't want the liability to have to manage my own email, right? Like if I screw something up, if I don't update something on time because I'm traveling and I wanna have a life outside of managing my email, um, that's where I right. think feels feel a little risky to me. So I feel like if you're somebody who wants to tinker, I think the, the big thing for me is if you want to tinker, if you want to learn how email works, there's no better way to do it than to self host your own email. And you're going to learn a lot about how email works. You're going to like get down and dirty. It's a great learning experience. Um, and also maybe you can use it for a few things that aren't very important, um, just for fun. Keep in mind the liability and that you are taking ownership of all of your email data uh, when you do that, which is a good thing right? Because you're owning all your data, but also just keep in mind, you have to maintain it, as you said. Yeah, it, it's just something that you should do if you're interested in self-hosting email, but it's not something that you should do as a general rule. And I definitely didn't really have any problems when I self-hosted email and I hosted my own email for a very long time, but I've also just switched all of my email over to Proton and I'm perfectly happy with that decision. And it's, it's a lot better now that I don't need to self-host anymore. Nice. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Here's another clip for you. And if you want to really dive into tech, check out our main channel, TechLore, for a deeper dive into digital rights, privacy, security, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.